If you didn't already know, then OpenAI recently introduced plugins for ChatGPT, and this brings a whole new level of new tools and functionality to chat, making it even more powerful than it already is, with some plugins allowing you to read website URLs or even search the internet, find restaurant tables, make bookings for you, and even do the research for you on flight times and help you to make your flight reservations. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how you can unlock the plugins feature within your ChatGPT account and how you can add plugins to your account and use them. I'm then going to tell you about the top 10 most popular ChatGPT plugins that people are using at the moment. So when you log into ChatGPT, in order to use plugins, you need to be upgraded to ChatGPT Plus. OK, so this is the paid version of ChatGPT. So in order to do that, if you just have a free account at the moment, you need to navigate down to the bottom menu here, these three little dots and go to my plan. And then under my plan, you can already see that I'm upgraded to Plus already. And it's $20 a month. So it's not a huge investment, but it's absolutely worth it. Once that's done, you'll see in the middle here, it says ChatGPT Plus. And you'll then have the options at the top here for, to either select GPT 3.5, which is the free version, or now you get access to GPT 4, which is much, much more powerful. Now, once you've upgraded your plan, you'll also need to go back to these little dots down here and go to settings and beta and go to beta features. And now under here, where it says plugins, you just need to make sure this is toggled to on. Now, bear in mind, these plugins are not owned by OpenAI. They're actually third party plugins. So if you're ever unsure about the credibility of some of the plugins, just do a little bit of research online first to find out about who's created them. And you'll also see this little option here underneath. And currently it says no plugins enabled. However, this is where we go now to select our plugins. So from this drop down menu, these are three plugins I currently have installed. And there's loads of great ones out there. But in order to find and activate plugins, you just come to this drop down menu and then at the bottom select plugin store. And now here you'll have access to the whole plugins library. So currently we're under the tab most popular. However, we can come to all and you can see there's pages and pages and pages down here at the bottom of lots and lots of different plugins. There's absolutely hundreds of on here. But if I show you some of the most popular, so for example, this one is a PDF reader. This will read PDFs for you and help to extract information that you need. CodaPal is a plugin that helps you to write more advanced code. Browser OP is one of the many plugins that will help you to search the internet and so on. There's loads and loads in here that you can use. Now, just to show you a couple of plugins that I particularly really like, I've been using a lot recently. So one of them is called Web Pilot. In order to find it, just come to the search feature at the top here and search for Web Pilot. And it's this one here. So as you can see, I've currently got it installed. If I were to uninstall it, I click this button and now it's uninstalled. So if you don't have it, you'll first come here and it will look like this for you. And you'll see the green button, click it to install. Simple as that. And now Web Pilot has been added to my account and we can see it here. So if I click on this drop down, these are the plugins I currently have in my account and they're only activated when the box is check marked. So now none of them are activated. If I want to activate Web Pilot, I just check the tick mark here and you now see the logo for Web Pilot will be appearing here, which means this plugin is installed and activated. So what WebPilot does is I can either now give ChatGPT a URL and ask it to search for information from that specific page, or I don't even need to give ChatGPT a URL. I can just ask Chat to search the internet and find something I'm wanting to look for, and now Chat will be able to access the internet and find the information I'm asking for. So this is really, really useful. So let me show you how WebPilot can work now with ChatGPT. So if we ask Chat, I'm going to ask it to search the internet for me without giving it a specific website URL. So how about I ask Chat to tell me the top five news stories that were being reported by New York Times at the moment? Okay, and I click search, and now ChatGPT should access the WebPilot plugin. There we go. So now you can see this here. This is chat using WebPilot to find the New York Times website and then read what's on the website currently, what's being currently reported, and give me the top five news stories. So let's see how accurate it is. So US job growth surges past expectations in a sign of unexpected vigor. Right, so let's head over to the New York Times. Uh, here we go. US job surges past expectations. So here you go. There's the first one. Oh, and chat's giving us a little brief on the story as well. And story number two, chaos in the house. Who wants to be speaker? Let's see if we can find this article. Who wants to be house speaker? Is chaos the only thing, Repub is chaos the only thing Republicans can trust? So yeah, it looks like that's being reported. Next story, Nobel Prizes, Nobel Peace Prizes awarded to jailed Iranian activists. So... Let's see where we can find that story. Um, here we go. Nobel Peace Prize is awarded to jailed Iranian activists. In Mexico, Adams praises migrants. 
Mexico Atoms praises migrants. Okay, so as you can see, chat is now accessing the internet without me giving it a specific URL. So that's a pretty awesome feature. That's really super useful. So another thing chat can do, as I said, with this plugin in particular, is it can access specific URLs and you can ask it to retrieve data for you from that specific URL. So as an example, let's go to the Wix website and ask chat to, I'm gonna grab the URL for the Wix pricing page. Okay, so this is the Wix pricing page. I'm gonna ask chat now, and I give chat the specific URL and ask chat to give me a concise breakdown of the pricing. Okay, and then I'm just gonna enter the URL here and now chat should access that URL and give me just that information that I've asked for in a concise list. So chat's going ahead and reading that URL now. Okay, so chat's confirming, it understands what we're asking and here we go. So the Wix premium plans, the enterprise plan, I got the business elite plan. Okay, so there's the Wix pricing plans all extracted from that URL. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there's actually hundreds of plugins that you can hook up to ChatGBT. Of course, I haven't had time to test out all of them, but let's ask Chat now to use WebPilot link and scrape the internet and find out what people are saying at the top 10 at the moment. Okay, so I've just asked Chat, access the internet and tell me the top most 10 useful plugins for ChatGPT. So now chat's going to read a few website articles and give us a list of the top 10 that people are mostly talking about at the moment. Okay, so here we go here, the top 10 uh, reported in ZDNet. Uh, first one is Expedia and Kayak plugins. So they can help you to find travel information and hotel bookings. Uh, Ask Your PDF uh, help you to extract data from PDF documents. Uh, the Link Reader plugin, it's just another plugin. I actually have that installed at the moment. Similar to WebPilot, I personally prefer WebPilot. That's just my personal opinion. So I found that Link Reader will read a link if you give a specific link to Link Reader, but it doesn't seem to access the internet like WebPilot does, whereas WebPilot can do both. So I personally prefer WebPilot. Uh, prompt Perfect, it help you to improve your prompts and get more out of ChatGPT with better prompting. Uh, Vox Scripts, that's an interesting one. It helps you to search through YouTube transcripts and get information from YouTube chat, YouTube videos. Uh, ChatGPT and Wikipedia, uh, what to watch, that's a good one. Chat will help you to stay abreast of the top TV shows to watch and Zapier. It helps you to organize uh, software tools. Okay, so let's choose one of these plugins and I'm gonna go with VoxScript. Let's install VoxScript and see what we can do with it. So I'm just gonna go to a new chat and go to the drop down window, go to plugin store and I'm gonna search for VoxScript. And here it is, I'm gonna click green button to install. Now VoxScript is installed and activated. So here's the icon for VoxScript. So now currently WebPilot and VoxScript are both activated. So now I can just leave both of these plugins activated all the time and just carry on interact with ChatGPT as I normally would. And as and when ChatGPT might find one of those plugins useful, it's just gonna access it automatically. So I don't actually need to instruct ChatGPT to utilize one of those plugins. It will just use it automatically depending on what questions I'm asking chat. So now the VoxScripts plugin is activated. We can see the logo is in the top here. And it actually does several things for us. But one thing is it can actually read YouTube videos. So I'm gonna ask it, I'm gonna give it a YouTube URL and I'm gonna ask it to read the video and then summarize the information for me in that video. So I found this video here, which is about the seven health benefits of the keto diet by Dr. Dan Max. And I give this, take the URL link for this YouTube video, give it to chat and I'm gonna ask chat to give me a summary of this YouTube video. And now VoxScript, similar to WebPilot, should now use uh, the link reader and then access that video and then read the transcript of that video and then summarize the content for us. Let's see how good it is. So the video is titled Seven Health Benefits to Keto Diet by Dr. Dan Max. Yeah, correct. So it's given us the upload date and how many views it's had. Let's just see how many views it has had. 62,892, 62K. So yeah, I guess that's probably correct. Uh, telling you how long the video is. Now the summary of the video contents. So in the video, Dr. Mags discusses the various health benefits of the ketogenic diet. While many people are initially drawn to these diets and weight loss, there are numerous other health advantages, blah, blah, blah. So benefits, number one, weight loss. Number two, improve blood glucose control. Number three, type two diabetes, and so on. 
that's basically how you can install and use plugins within ChatGPT. So if you want to know more about ChatGPT plugins, then you can come to this article here on the OpenAI website, and I'll leave this URL in the description below this video so it's easy for you to find it. And if you want a full tutorial on how to use ChatGPT, then this is the next video that you want to watch.